Hello again, everybody. Brian E. A.K.A. Miss Grims 87 here. We're back with more Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. All right, so we left off with Rouge in her first level. We're on the dark side now, so you should know what we're up against if you've played this game before or if you've been watching up to this point. So let's get back into the story. We're back as Eggman. I'm Dr. Eggman, the greatest scientific genius of the world. I released Shadow from the military research facility. But now, Shadow told me to bring the Chaos Emerald and join him at the space colony. Um, there must be something going on. I should go back to the base and check it out. Alright, so this is our story up to this point. Eggman uh, has encountered Shadow for the first time. And now needs to meet up with Those him up in space. Will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. Let's take care of this first. And I actually kind of love this level. Like it's, it's. I don't know. I, I think. I think I shouldn't have fucking done that. First of all. Uh, <laughs> no. Um. I, I think. I forgot. I don't have the boost yet. I'm. I'm, I'm just starting as I can. No, but I'm. Um, I think I remember, like, Eggman's levels, in most ways, being better than, uh, Tails' levels. I mean, it's the same kind of idea, you know, you're, you're in a mech, and you're shooting everything, gaining points based on how many enemies you can kill at one time, and just everything else is just in the way. But I love this whole thing of, like, just knocking down these big fucking killers, just Eggman just seems to be the kind of person who would do that. Just everything in his way, it doesn't matter what's there. He is here to fuck shit up and take over the world. Or at least, uh, establish the Eggman Empire. And then take over the world, you know. You gotta have the game plan. No one man could take over a, a, a whole world. You gotta... You gotta have some people. You gotta, you gotta have a supporting cast. But anyway, I hope you're all doing alright. Um, I'm doing pretty good. Like, work's been great. Life's been good. I mean, obviously it could be better, but it could be way, way worse. And I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you might be able to say the same thing. Then again, I can't I can't judge you. I can't say what's going on in your lives and tell you what uh, you know what's good and bad about it because I don't know. But I can at least say I'm feeling good. I hope you're all feeling good. I hate how the camera angle changes, like, it kind of tilts away as you're doing this. Like, sometimes the camera will tilt upward. So you're kind of going at a little bit of an aerial angle. Right, let's go with Charo after this. Let's see how Eggman handles the Chow. Okay, going up. Now, obviously, as you can tell, there's a lot of alternate paths, but most of those involve me fucking up. That's what they involve. God damn it, the stupid, the fucking sneakers say super speed, fuck me over. Uh, anyway, um, as you saw, there are alternate paths in this level, as along with almost every level. Uh, some of them will give you extra bonuses, like more rings or extra shield or extra life, something like that. But a lot of them will actually give you upgrades for whatever uh, character you're playing as. Like for example, every like whenever you saw that little shrine that uh, was in like a lot of the levels, you saw more from like the Sonic levels and like that. Excuse me, I'm just making some noise. Okay. Anyway, I got enough out of that. So anyway, like you saw, like there were all those little shrines, and that has to do with uh, what's called Mystic Melody. Every character can get an upgrade that allows him to play a special uh, melody at those shrines that opens up an alternate path. And that leads to, usually, uh, other si uh, other objectives that you can do with these zones. Remember how I went to the, the world map and you saw that there were so many different objectives, like, oh, get a hundred rings, or beat the stage in this amount of time, stuff like that. That's that's what I mean. Like, Mystic Melody helps out with some of that. 
seriously, like I, I, it, just, I just get reminded of, you know, my teenage years playing this game. I, I played it on the GameCube. Me and my sisters, like we, we all played it. And usually, like I'm the, I'm the big gamer in my family, at least uh, when it comes to my immediate family, my sisters. Because I know my niece and nephew, they, they, they play games and they uh, have their own thing going on. So, but growing up, usually when you're the brother who likes to play games against two sisters who sometimes play games. Although, uh, my oldest sister is, you know, into games, mostly. Uh, some of the games that I'm into, as well as other games, uh, she was... I, I still have, uh, the same PlayStation that she had for, I think, ever since about... God, I'm not sure if she got it online, like, in, in the 2000s, but she got it uh, so she could play some of her uh, old PlayStation games, including an Inuyasha fighting game. Okay, here we go. Yosh. Sorry. I decided to go off on a sidetrack there, uh, talking about my family. You know. I do I, I do love my family. My sisters, my niece, my nephew, mother and father, God rest their souls. I don't care if I got an E, because I know that was all because I fucked up and I lost two lives. Still got the emblem, though. But anyway, like... My sister was big on, you know, it's mostly anime, but also video games, and, like, she she and I shared the interest. And, you know, like, that felt really cool growing up, because, like, you know, when I was younger in, in that age, you know, obviously two older sisters, you know, <laughs> you can imagine how, how, how hard it is to try to deal with that, because, you know, they'd sometimes find something to make fun of you for, or, you know, laugh about what kind of movies you like, what kind of TV shows you like, what kind of music you like. And I, I know I, I got plenty of criticism growing up, even, even going into my teenage years. But, no, all that was just like, that's how it was growing up. I'm pretty sure anybody who has siblings might have experienced that sort of thing. Okay, so, as we can see, uh, Eggman has a very uh, obtuse uh, body uh, mapping, like, you know, collision detection. So, it might be a little difficult to try to pull off the, uh, the Chaos Drive exploit. See, the Peacock was about to take that. Oh, okay, never mind. I think, I think I might have it. Uh, let me try one more. I said... Boy. Which I I learned years ago uh, is a Japanese term for basically like comfort, saying like it's all right, it's cool, that sort of thing. At least I think it is. Um, I'm I'm still even in even in my age, 36 years old, I'm still a little you no know, wavy on uh, you know the uh, the Asian culture and things like that. And I really wish I knew more about it because I I follow a lot of people who are way more. Uh, well informed on the subject, and I could say more about it and stuff like that. But I at least feel good that I could do something. See, once again, see, sometimes like you might be lucky that you get a child that will actually put that half an egg on their head, but that doesn't happen. But here we go. Um, you know what? I think it's time to. I think it's time to. Ah, oh, damn it! I forgot. You have to do that. In the regular, uh, outside of the main story, the chaos I was gonna go take the this child over to the, the thing, but never mind, never mind. That, that'll come later. That'll come later. Story time. Just what's going on up there? So as you can see, this is the same uh, underground base, like underground. We interrupt Sorry. this hidden base for an important news flash that there has been a Sonic Tails and Knuckles had to go to. Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing the that was stolen Emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. Eggman, you were a little too early on that delivery. Uh, can we run that? Scene, uh, do another take? Sorry, um, the world yeah. renowned hero, damn it! Sonic I told you, the like they couldn't sync the, the audio scene, up with the. the uh, Destroying the reserves, ah. guard robots in his path. Stay tuned for Sounds more details. More like the work of Shadow. And it's gonna, it's, it's, I feel like it's just gonna get worse. But at least we come to an awesome level. How pathetic.
The first shadow level. Find them before they escape. But here's a flashback. Maria. Okay, so who's Maria? What? And what is happening with Shadow? Shadow, I beg of you, please Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. Why does she say sayonara? Usually you say that because that's a Japanese word for goodbye. Usually you would say that. Revenge. Okay, anyway, you, usually you'd say Saranara is like a an insult or like a derision. But, okay, so right here we learn a little bit more about Shadow's backstory. There's a, 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 a blonde girl named Maria who sends Shadow to this planet, which is supposed to be Earth. Except they never really say it's Earth. At, at, well, I think it's actually implied or they probably do say it. But right there, they didn't say it that much. And I just missed that post. Okay, thank you. So... So Shadow has it built in his mind that he is out to take on the rest of the world to fulfill what he believes is his destiny. Why he was put here in the first place. And as we learn later on in the story, it seems that he's a little mistaken. But Let's not get facts. Let's not let facts get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> this actually is a pretty good story. It does have a lot of holes. You know, not, not, I'm not talking Swiss cheese level of holes, but you know, maybe holes in your underwear that you haven't uh, replaced in the last two months. I, I'm not speaking from experience on that one. Maybe, kind of. But no. Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. Um, get get back to the game. All right. So there we go. We still have the same homing attack that uh, Sonic has. So basically, Shadow is the Sonic uh, of the evil, uh, the Dark Side story. And from here, it's basically the same kind of game. You are traversing a full 3D world, going up, down, all around, fucking around, listen to the sound, and you're just, I don't know, trying to get to the end. Okay, same thing. Oh, and yep, there we go. Got some more rings. All right, got a shield. And now we come to the uh, obviously classic loop de loops that are in the Sonic games. They've been in the Sonic games since the beginning, and still are to this day. You cannot escape the loop de loop. Eh, 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 eh. Good, I got them before they reactivated their electricity. That's it. And... Ah. Okay, good. Wow. I felt like I wasn't gonna make it. We got another way? Okay, what? Or is there something over here? No, you know what? You know what? No, I'm curious. I'm curious. And if I die, it's you know what? No, okay, never mind, never mind. Okay. I'm going back. I'm going back. I feel lucky on this one. It seems like there's maybe a little more at the end of this road. You know? Maybe just a bigger pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? I don't know. That's how it is when you play games. Especially when you're my age, you know? Never the same experience twice. Okay, I got the electric. Yes! It's too bad I don't get to do the double jump that you can do in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You know, the damn... Where you could like, do a, a, a higher beat. But you can at least pull in all the rings that come your way. I'm about to hit 200. And, yeah. Uh, and, hey! One more time! Whee! Uh, look at you! I feel like uh, I probably won't get too much in the way of time because I did uh, fuck around and you know, whatever. But that's that's neither here nor there. But corkscrew! 
times two. Was it good for you? Bang. Alright. Here we go. So I didn't get a whole lot of points, but I did get a whole lot of rings. And maybe the time might not be so bad, so let's just see. Hey. Too easy for me. Yeah, not bad at all. I'll, I'll tip my cap to that. There we go. Oh, here we go. We get the battle. What? Oh, not the battle, but where Shadow shows up. It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. Sure, we've seen this before. That's the Chaos Emerald. Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. Again, how could they do that? They are two completely different colors. Well, I mean, not completely, but... If you put them side by side, you are not going to get them confused. Control. Unless you forget what the fuck their names are. And Shadow's gone. Wait. Alright, behind you. Wow. He's fast. Hey, it's not his speed. He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp Shadow. I'm the there we world's go. Again, talking over each other. Farewell. Okay. But then now we go back to Rouge because she's in the pyramid and this she is has to I've located Eggman's base and get we'll into proceed to the base. now. <sighs> I hate to say it. I guess I'm going to have to find that key first. Um, Rouge, um, excuse me, can you see? There are three keyholes. You do not need a key. You need three keys. Can you please get your head out of your ass and realize what the mission is? God, seriously, like... I, I know that this game is notorious for having its goofy, weird, broken moments. But sometimes it just gets too annoying. <laughs> you just have to you have to call it like you see it, alright? But I won't let that ruin the experience. I'm still here to play a game. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Let me go ahead. Green path. Am I am I on the green path? Fuck, I don't know. But as you see, this is different than Knuckles uh, experience in uh death chamber because here we have these roaming beetle guards who uh when they see you will shoot you if you do not get out of their line of sight soon enough. and as you see just like in death chamber there are three paths we need to figure out where the hell we're trying to go Except unlike in Knuckles, we don't have things to tell us which way is the right way. At least I didn't see any of that room. See, there's the mystic melody flying. And I just got scared by a ghost. Boo. Happy Halloween. Oh, I touched the fucking flame! Okay. Looks like we're going to green path. Okay, fine. Looks like this is the way we're supposed to be going. Ah, shit. Wait. Okay, good. We're going the right way. Just gotta stay away from this roaming beetle. God damn it! Okay, so... There's something I'm missing in here. God damn it, I keep hitting the fucking flame! Okay, am I missing something here? Am I supposed to... Okay. I'm getting somewhere. Well, I was getting somewhere. What? No. Shit. 
so is it up there? Where the? F okay, fuck it. I'm restarting. I'm 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 take I'm 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 gonna eat the life on this one because this is four pillows. Okay, great. Thank you for the hint. I don't even know how to properly navigate this level because not because with Knuckles level you have like at least yeah you have three levels before well at least two levels before you go into see this is what I'm talking about that's where the laser comes in and now I need to get the fuck out of the way before it tries to get me again no but I'm with Knuckles you have like two levels to learn about Knuckles uh, navigation and even get an upgrade before you get into his uh, you know, pyramid level, you know, death chamber. So, okay, so I am supposed to get the freaking digging tool. Where? Well, maybe not, I don't need it right now, but I will need it. Oh, was it right in front of me the whole time? Am I am I missing me here? It's gotta be close. Oh, shit! Come on. Damn it! Let's hide out. What the fuck was that? Jeez. Sometimes I don't really understand these games. I just play them because... You know, half nostalgia, half torture. Okay, here we go. There's the upgrade. That's what I need. So just like uh, Knuckles... Uh, powered up knuckles. This allows me to dig into the wall and the ground. Like, right here. Okay, but obviously, there was nothing there. So now I can go ahead and just get out of here. I will say, I still like the music. Especially like Rusen music. Like, it has the, that little tinge of spy music. Like, almost like James Bond kind of style. Oh, come on! I wasn't that far... I wasn't far away enough. This is the egg snake chamber. Red flames, okay. Well, let's uh, move out. Here. Somewhere. There. Couldn't know it was there the whole way, because that's Gorilla's hideout. I don't need to do that. Hot chow. This is the egg scorpion chamber. Yeah, see now you can't touch me. Oh, well, so targets. Okay, well, I already know this is gonna be an E, so. Out of that one's point of view. God damn! You're fucking piss me off. Let me just fucking finish this level. God jeez. I told you I hate these damn levels. I got lucky on a couple of them, but 
That does not mean I have to appreciate it! Where is the... Where the fuck is it? THANK YOU! Go ahead, just get it- get it the fuck over with, alright? I GOT A BEAT! Too easy for me. How did I- How? I took so much time, I fucked up so many times, how did I fucking get the B? Okay, well, I guess they do really forgive uh, stupidity and lack of judgment and <laughs> impaired motor skills. Okay, well, all right, let's uh, let's go ahead and visit the child. And we go. See, look at that. I got all this stuff for you. Come on with it. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, all right. Come on. Let's give you this. And a parrot. This will help you fly. Well, it hurts your run, but... You know, you're second in command. I want you to be strong enough. Okay. And you! Oh, look at you! Look at you wonderful little buddy! Oh, I just love the child. I... Uh, let's try this. Let's. Oh, he's got parrot wings too. That'll really help out your fly. Okay, well, you do need stamina. Alright, here. Have some fruit. Yes. There you go. Oh, you're not hungry? Okay, that's fine. Okay, well, I, I feel like this one's gone long enough, so let's get to the end of this scene and see what's going on. So Rouge has made it to the central control. It's a space transporter. The destination has been set to Ark. Wasn't that space colony shut down over 50 years ago? What's he doing up there anyway? Doesn't matter. It's my mission to find well, out well, what he's up is. to. Ah, uh, that's a good one. This is where Eggman has made it to. So this is the space colony Ark. I have to locate the central control room that Shadow mentioned before he left. Uh, this is kind of cool because if you remember uh, when I played through the hero side and Tails had the uh, level Eternal Engine, it kind of reminds you of this because there's the, the doors that automatically open or you have to blow them open stuff like that uh so but you're playing as eggman and this is like when the colony is just like mostly shut down but somehow it's still somewhat functional but you know what it's a video game you can't take it too seriously don't don't worry your pretty little head about that but i did want to go ahead and just wrap this one up i feel like this one might be going a little long especially with all my fuck-ups so <laughs> i appreciate you if you stuck around through my fuck-ups because well I like to get to share with all of you. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, it's Brian E., a.k.a. Miss Grims 87 saying thank you all for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for playing along. Like I said, I, I, I love this game. It's, it's one of my favorites, you know, when I first got my hands on it back in 2001, 2002, and just played through it. Had fun. I know a lot of people have played it, and I do appreciate anybody who wants to check out any of my videos, even if just for a little while, just to see that, hey, here's another dope who <laughs> played this game back then, and is playing it again, and talking a whole lot of smack about it, but at the same time, appreciating it for what it is. Or whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever gamer, you know, cliche you want to go and throw in about, oh, the nostalgia, and feeling good about it, but seriously, game's great, still holds up, kind of. And I still do enjoy it. And I hope you all enjoy not only playing it, if you ever had the chance to, but also watching other people play it. Get to see how it is on the other side. So, 
that'll do it for that. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, head off. Maybe try to find something else to put up here. Maybe something different. Something we haven't seen in a while. Who knows? All I know is if you want to tune in, I would appreciate it. So, keep an eye out. Y'all take care now. And I will be back.